Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Mike Enzi. Thanks to James Whiting, Congressional Award recipient and fellow Eagle Scout for inviting me to make a few comments and to be a part of your experience at this year's Wyoming Association of Student Councils Convention. As you gather together, I encourage you to keep in mind this organization's purpose, to provide an opportunity to improve upon responsibility, leadership, and personal development. As a member of your student council, you have already taken steps to embrace those characteristics. Serving on a student council will mean you share many of the same challenges and lessons that folks at all levels of leadership face. It doesn't matter if it's at Kelly Walsh or Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. The lessons you learn will be with you for the rest of your life. I hope those lessons become tools in the years to come and that you use them wisely to good purpose. One of the first lessons you will likely learn is that good government works best when you can get as many people involved as possible. Not all great ideas and solutions can come from one small group. I certainly know that about Washington. I've learned over the years that there's an abundance of common sense right under the kitchen tables all over Wyoming, or maybe in your case, in the cafeteria. All we need to do is harness that enthusiasm and those good ideas, and they'll continue to make a difference from our own backyards to the country as a whole. Now I'd like to tell you about another opportunity that you might find rewarding. That's Congressional Awards. The Congressional Award is one of the most prestigious youth awards that can be earned in the United States. I support and encourage the young people of our state to look into this program every chance I get. This program provides opportunities for young people ages 14 to 23 to achieve personal goals focused on character development, fitness, community involvement, and volunteerism. The Congressional Awards Program is one of Wyoming's own. Senator Malcolm Wallop created the program nationally when he was in the Senate in 1979. He wanted to encourage our young people to push the boundaries of their lives so they could discover what they were truly capable of achieving. This is not an award for past accomplishments. Instead, you are honored for achieving your own challenging goals after registering for the program. Wyoming young people have led the pack for congressional awards. Last spring, only California and Florida had more gold medalists than Wyoming which is especially impressive when you remember that California is the most populated state and Florida is ranked number four. It just goes to show how hardworking and determined young people in Wyoming are. Whenever someone asks me what I think about our future as a state and as a nation, I always give them the same response. If you have any doubts about the continued strength of our nation and the commitment of our young people to making this world a better place, Take a look at those who are serving in the nation's military or stop by a congressional award ceremony. Spending some time with people you will meet at either place or at this conference will convince you immediately that we are blessed to be Americans and we have every reason to believe our future will be even better than our past. Once again, thanks for inviting me to speak to you all and I hope you have a great convention.